It's a great day, my amazing CEOs. Let's dive into the Norder Track story, a company that despite its fitness fame, faced challenges. Now imagine your business hitting a rough patch. You see, Norder Track soared very high, but as the fitness world evolved, so did the hurdles. And this is where I believe as CEOs this morning, we can all draw very valuable lessons. So here's the scoop. Norder Track, known for its sky machines, hit a sales slump in the 1990s. Despite introducing new products, the sales kept going down and down and down. It's like your business really introducing some cool gadgets and no one is buying. Customers weren't jumping aboard for the new gadgets. And here's the shocking part. The stock went down by 60%. The company was failing fast. So Nordatrack, though, they had a, I'm going to call it a trick up their sleeve. A change first in their sales strategy. A change in their management. And they started paying more attention to what the customers were list looking for and the problems that they could, in fact, solve. So just like Nordatrack adapted to the market, your business needs a flexible sales strategy. And what they decided to do is they decided to introduce a concept called collaboration. So they joined forces with a number of retailers. Back then, Sears was one of them. You may recall that. And what it did is it turned the tide because they went to where their customers were. It's like fishing in the pond where the fish are. And by teaming up, collaborating, they became a powerhouse. So what's my takeaway for you as a CEO from Nordatrack? Number one, have a strong sales system. That's the key. Nordatrack evolved by introducing new products. And the new product they introduced that really took off was iFit. Remember that? So they were able to stay a little bit ahead of the game, but also solve a problem. That means we wanted information where we were, not just when we got back home and got on our Nordatrack machine. So for your business to grow, for revenue to exceed, for you to be more profitable and impact more lives, embrace a new sales strategy or maybe do a recalibration. I'm not going to say pivot. You recalibrate what you have, the sales strategy, the sales system, and the sales structure and funnels that you have in order to exceed your revenue goal. You do that, just like Nordic Track. not only will you be on track, but you'll see your sales go up, 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 and away. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shea Brown. Welcome to the CEO Sales Huddle. One of our mantras every single morning that we start off with, and I believe we all should have uh, a mantra, something that we believe in, our philosophy, is if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. Why? Because sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. And without sales, there's always more money pouring out, like just going out, than there is coming in. What's the point? Selling is serious business. So repeat after me our mantra that I love to do every single morning. And it helps us stay on track. It helps us stay focused. Just like you may have your, your prayer in the morning, you may have your affirmation, whatever it is that you do every morning. And here it is. If you can't focus on sales, repeat after me. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business because sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. And then we move over to our pledge. And every morning we pledge. And as a CEO, we're only looking at the sales organization. We're making a pledge to the sales organization. And here's the pledge that you have as a CEO. And I'm talking about your sales organization. Maybe you call it your sales department. And here it is. If I have to learn something new. So it's learn, earn, and return. And I want you to repeat after me. This, this is so as top of mind to you. You've got a lot of things that pull at you as a CEO. And I'm only raising my hand in the sales department saying, don't forget the sales organization. So here's what I want your focus to be as a CEO. Repeat after me. I have to learn something new. Every day you learn something new. In order to earn new revenue from just my current clients, in order to get new and old clients to return. So I must learn, I must earn, and I must what? Return. You do that, and you see your changes going up. Now, one of our objectives every single morning we get together is to do really three things. There's really three things we look at doing for our objectives. Number one, we do a sales assessment. So it's good to slow down, step back, 
Take a look at the sales department and see what's going on. So we're going to have a conversation with the sales organization. That's why you're here as a CEO for the CEO sales title. Number two, address any roadblocks. You know, there's going to be some blocks out there. So what's our system? What's our strategy? What is our funnels that we're going to do to get around it? And number three, to, to make top of mind the five, I did say five, sales pillars that every CEO needs to know in order to grow and be profitable. Number one, a sales, a CEO sales plan. Now I have a one pager. It's one page. And then the CEO sales plan is your strategy, is your system, is your structure to get to the next level. Not a revenue goal. No, no, it's the system. Number two is a sale, understand the sales cycle that your clients are on. It may change from time to time from the way you connect to how you communicate, to how they convert. That's the cycle. Number three, the sales messaging that's coming from the sales organization. The words that we use. We understand our words will make us rich. And number four, our CEO sales dashboard. Now, like, see, the one thing about this department, sales, it's the only department that there's a scoreboard. It's the only department that you say, look, here's the score. And we're going to look at that score. We have a dashboard. We'll know exactly where we are, how we're going to allocate resources, how we allocate the time, how we allocate the people, the process, and the tools in order to hit our revenue goals. And number five, you got to have a sales team. Now, even if you are the number one salesperson on the team, congratulations. You acknowledge you have a sales team. Every morning, I like to check in and say hello. You can see me, but I can't see you. So what I would like for you to do is look right below the video if you can and just hit hashtag I'm here. Now, as a CEO, it might sound silly, but it's not. It's a way of saying I'm here. I'm in the conversation. I know that we can always get better. The sales organization can always approve. I'm here to do something about it. And I get to say hello back. So just put hashtag I'm here. If you're watching the replay, we appreciate you too. Some of you show up every morning at, at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and many of you can't make it at 8 a.m. However, you're watching the replay. And so go ahead and put hashtag replay. Let me know you're here. Hashtag replay. And then many of you are watching it on the on-demand platforms. You might be on YouTube right now. You might be on Roku. Maybe you're on Amazon or Apple TV. Wherever you are and you can't do it, do me a favor. Just look right below the video. Look right below the video. Or you can't do a video. Just go over to at I am Jay Brown. Drop me a DM. I love to respond back. Let me know what we can do and how we can add more value to you as a CEO. So why do we get together? What's the whole purpose of the CEO sales huddle? The CEO sales huddle is a place where CEOs gather to understand how to sell more faster. That's the key, by the way. And we have a big why. It's about sales growth, sales organization, it's got to be growing organic, accountability. We show up for this call every single morning. We're going to look at the scoreboard with the D CEO sales dashboard and consistency. And it doesn't matter what area you are, but we're only talking about the sales organization right now. How do we be more consistent in our habits, more consistent in generating leads, and more consistent in moving the needle with the metrics that matter the most? And we've got five that we're going to share with you in a moment. How are we able to do that, by the way? And how much time do I need? 15 minutes a day. So I'm only asking you to show up 15 minutes. You're here for 15 minutes a day. You're able to check in with other CEOs to solve the number one problem that are facing entrepreneurs today, which is how do I generate more revenue in my business so I can purchase the resources that I need to execute the vision I have for the people I was called to serve. 15 minutes is 1% of your day. There are 1,440 minutes in every day. What's our outcome? Our number one outcome is $100,000 a month of consistent, predictable, reliable revenue. And so that leads us to the CEO sales dashboard. And the CEO sales dashboard to me is the number one tool that CEOs use in their sales organization to get to $100,000 per month. So if you were looking at your sales organization and I was your chief sales officer and you're like, Shay, what do I need in the sales organization? I would say we need people, processes, and tools. Now the process is our sales funnels, our sales systems, our sales strategy. It's the systems we have in place. But I'm looking about the tool. The tool is how do we measure? And here's a philosophy that I want you to adopt that you can have because what gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. And so when you have a scoreboard, you're not going to say, I'm not going to look at the scoreboard. You're not going to say, I have an idea what, what's going on over there. No, we're going to know 
We're going to manage and we're going to allocate resources in the place that we need. So let's talk about the five areas. There are leads, appointments, leads, appointments, um, offers, deals, and repeat business. And so go ahead right now, open up your CEO sales dashboard. It looks something just like this. We're going to click on it here. Oh, there we go. The CEO sales dashboard. Once you have the CEO sales dashboard open, it's an Excel sheet. So this is really easy. No software. You ain't got to download anything. You just got to download it. And then we've got five categories. Now, what, some of you fill this out every day. Congratulations. It's already filled out. Your assistant filled it out. Maybe someone on your team filled it out. You allocated it to someone else. Good use of time. And others of you, you are the everything for the company. Okay? is, is the chief uh, everything for your company. You're filling this out right now. I understand that. It's the best use of your time. Now we'll go. we got leads, appointments, offers, deals. This is the scoreboard. Okay? Only one department in the entire company has a scoreboard. You might have indicators for other stuff, but no, no. Sales organization has a scoreboard. We need tools. We need resources. We need help. So to see you, I'm just asking as you're here, just take a look, okay? Don't, don't just ignore it. Let's look at deals. And it's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It just is what it is. So you would look at today's date, go back, look at yesterday's date, and then put down how many deals were closed yesterday. Now, you might change some of these categories. I know some of you put specific products or your target products in there. Got it. That's all cool. But we're going to look at a couple different areas. Now, let me see here. Pull this here. There we go. And I used to look at deals at just what were deals that were done. But we have five, three different categories. Deals that were closed. And you might have a, a subcategory underneath there and have a product say what revenue came in from those deals. That means the money's in the bank. The ACH hit. The wire payment is there. The check is, is there. The credit card was processed. And then we don't just beat ourselves up and say, well, what deals are there? We didn't get a deal. It was a bad day. I used to do that. But no, now we look at, hmm, what's the pending status? Now, you may not need this, but some of you, this is, this is going to be revolutionary for you. I mean, this is something that will move the needle for your business. You have hot, warm, and cold. And this means that you had the conversation, you made the offer, the deal is about there, and maybe you've, they've got to wire you the, the money. Um, and maybe it goes into a pending status. Now, pending status to me is hot. Is anything's going to close in the next zero to 10 days? And there's a lot of factors involved in that, but let me just give you the high level. Then there's warm leads. Warm leads are leads that may close in the next 10 or 11 to 20 days. Cool. You know, some of you can understand that. And then there is the cold leads. Doesn't mean they're not going to buy, but it's 21 plus days out. Okay. And once you get to 21 days plus out, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It, it just means that, um, you know, it's not happening right now. It's a little colder. You may have to re-engage them. You have to remind them. You may have to reconnect with them. You might have to rebuild trust and rapport. Um, this is not a time for me to get into that deep, deep side, but we're going to acknowledge that. And now, as you fill out the CEO sales dashboard, you're like, whoa, Shay, this is cool. Yeah. Now you can decide where you're going to allocate and put your resources. And the next segment that we have that I really enjoy is... We're now going to take a look at celebrating wins because we don't show up every single morning just to beat ourselves up. That's not why we show up. We show up every single morning to do an assessment and the sales progress and for it to be top of mind to us during this 15 minutes as a CEO and allow us to understand where we're going to allocate our people, our processes and our tools and what resources are needed over there so we can have the right system structure and sales strategy in place to get where we got to get to. But we also look at our wins. And powerful people ask powerful questions because questions, they're focused. And in this life, you get exactly what you focus on. So we're going to ask ourselves three questions. Number one, for the sales organization, what are you most proud of? Number two, what was your biggest accomplishment? Like, like right now, like, like go ahead and write it down right now. Like in this moment, right now. And then number three, what do you want to brag about? Like, if you can just step out right now and you can say, I can brag about what's going on, what do I want to brag about? And I would submit to you that maybe it was just showing up. Maybe it was filling out the CEO sales dashboard. Maybe it was just being in this conversation right now. It's top of mind to you. You've heard this before. You know this. But now it's top of mind to you. But we don't stop there. We understand the world's not perfect. There's rainbows. There's unicorns. There's cupcakes. It's not just a perfect world. So now we're going to go to the other side. We're going to acknowledge that there's some challenges out there. There's some huddles out there. 
one hurdle is we ask ourselves questions again because powerful people ask powerful questions because questions steer focus. And in this life, you get what you focus on. Number one, what was your biggest roadblock? Number two, what's preventing you today from moving forward? And number three, what's the one thing you could do that could move the needle that if you did it, it would move things forward? But you control as a CEO, you make the decision, you can make it happen today. Now, all we got to do is get us to get a step in the right direction. You can do this. Now, I'll say it again. You can do this. I'm going to say it one more time. You can do this. My message of the day. Look at the scoreboard. What gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. For the sales organization, I'm only going to ask that you take a look at the scoreboard, which are the five indicators that every CEO must know and understand in order to be profitable. Now, we've created a CEO sales dashboard, not because I created it. You can go to CEOSalesHuddle.com and download it. But because that dashboard only has five indicators and any one of those five indicators can move your business in an entirely different direction. And many times we may not want to take a look at it. There's other priorities. But I will submit to you this. And this is my belief is our philosophy for any CEO. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business because sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. And so we're going to measure the leads. We're going to measure how many appointments the organization is getting. We're going to measure the offers that are made, the deals, and how many folks are repeat clients and what they're buying. We can do this. So you got this. You're a CEO. You're amazing. You're someone that's making a difference in the world. You're remarkable. You're fantastic. You are what the world needs right now. And I want you to know that I believe in you. And one thing I know for sure is your best is still yet to come as a CEO. Your best is yet to come. Your best is yet to come. With that being said, my name hasn't changed. It's still Che Brown, the host of the CEO Sales Huddle. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining. Make it a great day, everyone. And we'll make some good things out. We connect again next time. God bless. And I wish you success. Peace.